on this one? I will first state that f of x is both uh, continuous and differentiable on the interval negative 3, 3. Okay. Then, um, so I know it's differentiable and continuous, so I'll go ahead and find my f prime of x, which is 3x squared. I'll go ahead and identify my critical values, set this equal to x. I'm not going to show any work, but I divide by 3 and then take the square root. So I could say x equals value is my um, critical value. x equals 0 is my critical value. Now I'm going to want to create some test intervals. So I'm just going to write test intervals. And my interval is going to be from, let's say, negative 3 is less than x, which is less than 0. And negative 3 is less than x, which is less than 0. And you also could use the open intervals too, guys. That's not a problem. Those are the same thing. If you also just want to write them as you know, negative 3 to 0 as your interval, that's perfectly fine as well. Um, actually, let me just do it that way, because just to make things. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Okay, I just want to show one way. You could show it the other way. So there's going to be my test, there's my test intervals. And now I need to go and determine, though, in between all those intervals, what are we looking at? So I'll say, uh, let x equal negative 1. Let x equal positive 1. And then we can say that f prime of negative 1 is going to equal 3. And f prime of positive 1 is also going to equal 3. So you could say f prime of um, x is greater than 0. f prime of x is greater than 0 on that interval. So since f prime of x is greater than 0 on the interval negative 3, 0, and 0, 3, f of x is increasing. And then we need to talk about our relative um, or extrema. And we could say since, what did I write? Since f prime of x is positive on both sides of x equals 0, no max or min occurs. Right? Because remember, guys, for a max or min, we have to go from positive to negative or negative to positive. 